Okay guys, we're gonna talk a little bit now about Sonar Charts Live. This is a new feature available on the HDS Carbon units. So what are you required to run it? You have to have a Navionics Nav Plus card with the freshest data on that card. So go get a Nav Plus or a Platinum Plus card, plug it into your laptop, home computer, whatever, download the freshest data to that, you get a year subscription with the card when you get it. Then once you bring it out to your unit, you put it in, we're using the Navionics card right now. So I'm going to go to my overlays and I'm going to tell it Sonar Charts Live. Once I select Sonar Charts Live, you can see some of the areas where we've already been with it. It's starting to show depth contours and things like that that previously weren't showing out here. You know, we're in the Florida Keys, we're out here, we're kind of out in the flats area, so there's not a lot of big contour changes but it's the little contours and stuff that really make the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and use my outboard pilot now. I'm going to select a turn pattern and we're going to do a spiral pattern. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn it to port. Uh, we're going to change it a little bit to about 10 feet per loop. So now we should start turning. I'm going to give us a little bit of throttle here. Make these loops a little faster. Okay, so as you can see, as we're making this loop, we're filling in the contours. We've gone from 14 feet. We've got a foot change, so now we're at 15 feet. And as we drive around, it keeps filling in this data. So something that may have previously told me it was 12 feet. And obviously depending on the tide changes and stuff like that out here, that can change up or down by inches or feet. So this is a great way to have the best data on your unit at the time you're out there to know the depth of the water you're in. So as you can see, we've completed a couple of loops in this spiral pattern we were running. We've gone ahead and shut that off, but what you can see is we filled in some contour lines here. We've got some 16 foot contour lines, some 15s and some 14s. Now you don't have to run a spiral pattern or anything like that. You can just run this while you're out fishing. You get the latest real time contour line data on your unit. 